welcome back. Today I've got a healthy dose of deja vu for you because there is a new box featuring Indrasta, part of Age of Sigma, one of the Stormcast Eternals, and this is now the third box that I think she's been in. Not only that, but there's a kind of confusing thing that Games Workshop are doing with this particular box, because this is a collection of miniatures that's called a Spearhead. It is Spearhead Stormcast Eternals, and to be honest, it's got to be better value than what was previously on offer for Indrasta and her little coterie of lads, because this is the Spearhead. Now, as we can see, we have what was called the Thunderstrike Command right here. So those five miniatures are currently, well, they were at a time available for purchase from Games Workshop for a mere £75. Good lord, yes, that's a lot. However, this is not that box. This is a new thing. This, they've not really explained what this is, other than telling us that there will soon be an even easier way to muster the immortal warriors of Sigmar for tabletop battles against the worst the mortal realms can throw at you. Now the thing is, I thought there was already an easy way to, well, muster any army, not necessarily just Stormcast Eternals, but for quite some time now, we've had the Vanguard boxes available for Age of Sigmar. In fact, we haven't just had Vanguard boxes available, we've had them for pretty much every faction. There is a good number of boxes right here, and these have been available for ages now. 85 quid, same price for every single box. Every single faction gets the same value for their boxes. Well, I say value, depending on your definition of the word value at least. But we've had this very standardised way of doing things for quite a while now. And as such, I thought to myself... Why are they changing it to Spearhead? What's wrong with Vanguard? Why is that different suddenly? We had Start Collecting, then that went away. Now we've got Vanguard. Why is that going away in favour of Spearhead? Now, funnily enough, the answer to that question lies not with Age of Sigmar itself, but in Warhammer 40k, because it looks like what they're going to do for Age of Sigmar is the same thing that they did with the Combat Patrol boxes for Warhammer 40,000. See, Warhammer 40,000 has this cool thing whereby if you want to play using the combat patrol boxes, then there's like its own separate individual thing that you can do with those boxes that is basically 40k, but it's all built around the idea of these boxes being balanced against each other. So if two people buy two different combat patrols, they can have a game knowing that those two boxes have been designed or at least balanced to be able to have a proper fight without one side being completely overpowered or broken, and with both boxes evening out to have an enjoyable and fun experience without having to necessarily plump for an entire 2,000 point army. Now of course these were called combat patrols before so I'm not really sure why they've decided to change things up and rename the offering for Age of Sigma from Vanguard to Spearhead but I'm pretty sure that that is what they're aiming for. I mean it's pretty much the same system. You pay your £95 and you get a box that you can fight other combat patrols with and everyone should have a pretty even and fun experience with it. Now, I would imagine that this is going to be the same price. I mean, they're not just getting rid of the Vanguard name, they're most likely going to change the price point as well because combat patrols for 40k, £95, Vanguards are £85. If you take Andras the Celestial Spear, the Annihilators and the Knight Vexilor, that was £75 up until this box was announced. That is temporarily out of stock. I suspect it's not temporarily out of stock. I suspect it's probably gone forever. But that is 75 quid right there. They're not going to just up that to £85, including a Stormstrike Chariot and Vanquishers. They're not going to do that. They are going to up the price quite a bit more. And that will still be considerably below the retail of buying that Thunderstrike box, a unit of Vanquishers and the Stormstrike Chariot. But funnily enough, I think that would just about work out to a £95 charge with a little bit of a discount still remaining. Now, a lot of this is obviously just conjecture and guesswork, except right down here, it says we're reliably informed that plenty of other factions from across the Mortal Realms will be getting their own spearhead boxes in due course. So I think it's fair to say the Vanguard boxes are most likely going to be completely phased out and are going to be replaced by spearhead boxes, which will be the AOS equivalent of combat patrols, even more than the Vanguard boxes were already the equivalent of combat patrols because they will most likely come with supporting rule sets that make each of those boxes a bit more of a match for each other and a bit more of an even start, an even playing field for those looking to get into the game. 
to be honest, I don't think it's necessarily a bad idea. I'm just sad that it means that every single one of those boxes is going to go up by at least £10. I'm assuming it's going to have exactly the same pricing structure. Um, I'm assuming 95 quid across the board. Hopefully it won't be more than that. I'm really hoping that it is just that minimal increase, which is still quite a hefty chunk of change, let's be honest, because £95 is quite a bit of money. But we'll just have to wait and see. It'd be super curious to see just which factions end up getting their spearhead first. If the rumours surrounding the fourth edition of AOS or anything to go by, and that edition should be this year, then might we see a cheeky little Skaven box on the horizon, given that they might be getting a bit of an update of their very own? I kind of hope so, because dear lord that range is ancient. Anyway, let me know what you think of all that in the comments down below. Good idea? Bad idea? Do you think it's worth a combat patrol? Do you think it'll work for this? Let me know what you think. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things, just all the stuff, click all of it especially memberships. That's very helpful at the moment because ad revenue is hilarious. And by hilarious, I mean incredibly depressing. But there's going to be a bunch of member-only stuff coming down the line because this year things are going to be slightly different. Just, just a little tease, just throwing it out there, just letting you know. So yeah, feel free to click all the things. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you for the next one. <laughs>